How much money can you make on YouTube with a small channel? Hey there, this is Shruti and in today's video, I'm sharing exactly how much money I made on my first month on YouTube being monetized with just 2000 subscribers. Now, quick disclaimer here, in this video, I'm just gonna be talking about how much money I made with Google AdSense as an income stream. Now, I do have other income streams as well, but in order to keep this video as relevant as possible for you, no matter whether you don't have a YouTube channel, you're just starting out, or maybe you already have a YouTube channel and are curious to see how much money you can make once you're monetized. I started this channel in Jan of this year and I was able to get monetized and start running ads in the mid of November. So I started to run ads on 10th of November specifically because it takes a while between the application that you send and for YouTube to actually start running ads on your account. Now in order to start making money on your YouTube channel with Google AdSense, you need to be first accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, which as of shooting this video now requires you to have over 1000 subscribers as well as 4000 watch hours. And the way it works is that you share the revenue that you make on ads with YouTube as well, which is pretty much the same way that advertising works across different platforms. Now, when it comes to how much money you can make with YouTube ads, it really depends on two main factors. Now, the first factor is where your audience is from. So if your views are coming from countries like US, UK and Western Europe, then you're going to have a higher RPM. RPM equals to revenue per meal, which in layman terms means how much money you make for every 1000 views on YouTube. Now, if your audience is based in low or middle income countries, then you're going to be making less RPM compared to if your audience is based in higher income countries. Now, the reason why this is the case is because advertisers in high income countries are generally willing to pay much more in absolute terms to get the attention of these audiences versus advertisers in lower income countries. So as a creator, how much money you make with YouTube ads is really going to come down to where your audience is based and where all these views are coming from. The second factor that is also important when it comes to how much money you make on YouTube is the niche that your channel is in. So the niche is the category of content you create. For example, my channel is in the social media and entrepreneurship category. So most of my videos fall into one of these two main topics. This simply means that the more highly valued an audience is to advertisers on YouTube, the better that niche is going to perform when it comes to making money through ads. Now let's take for example a channel which is in personal finance versus a channel which is in comedy. It could be that the channel in personal finance is making $50 per thousand views whereas the comedy channel is only making $5 per thousand views. Now these are of course random numbers so don't quote me on this but the idea is that how much money you make through YouTube ads can really differ by a factor of 10x or more depending on the niche that your channel is in. The reason for this large difference is because of the advertisers that are targeting that niche. So when it comes to a finance YouTuber's audience, there will likely be banks or credit card companies that are willing to pay a very high amount to acquire that particular creator's audience. Whereas when it comes to a comedy channel's audience, there aren't that many high or premium advertisers that are looking to target this audience because think about it. If you go to a channel to watch comedy, you're not necessarily looking to buy something versus people who are watching a financial video on the top stocks to invest in the next year. So when it comes to how much money you make on YouTube ads, it really will come down to the country where your audience is from. So where are your views coming from and the niche and the type of content that you're creating on YouTube. So with that, let me show you my numbers for the first month of being monetized so that you can make up your own mind about whether or not YouTube ads is an effective monetization method. So I've already selected the first month of being monetized, which was from November 10th to December 10th, as you can see here. And as you can see, the estimated ad revenue for this period was $376. And I will also show you the breakdown of how that looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. So in this, in this time, uh, my channel got 26,827 views, which I believe is not bad for a small YouTube channel with just 2,000 subscribers. So I'm going to show you in detail what that looks like. So remember we talked about RPM, which is revenue per thousand views. So if you actually just take this and you divide it by the number of views that I had, you can see that my channel made $14 per thousand views. So for example, to divide that or to reach that conclusion, you can just divide 376 by 26 because it's per thousand and you will see that it made $376 in that time frame. Now we can also see exactly how much money it made on a day-to-day -day basis. So it started with $10 a day and then 13.93 and then going up and down, I think plus minus $2. And then I think we had a peak somewhere here where it was 12.5, $15. And then recently in December, $18.7, which is almost $20. So not bad at all for a new channel. 
And again, a high peak here as well, which is 17.12. So the reason why in December it's increasing is because of the time frame of this video. Now in December, generally advertisers are spending more money on holiday related gifts and items. And that's why um, there's a higher ad budget in this quarter. And that's why December income is gonna be slightly higher than what it would be, for example, next year in Jan. So as you can see, the RPM here is 14.11. It also fluctuates on a daily basis, depending on again how many views I get how many ads are clicked and so on and so forth um, and as you can see the playback based CPM is pretty high so what is the amount that advertisers are willing to pay for my audience is around $27 and of course I also have to share this revenue with YouTube so that's why a better way to figure out exactly how much I make like after I paid the revenue amount to YouTube is $14 per thousand views now this rpm is a little bit on the higher end although there are other channels which have rpms like 80 dollars and 100 dollars um, usually i think the average rpm of youtube channels hovers around five to eight dollars and so as you can see this is slightly higher and the reason why this is slightly higher is actually because of um, the countries that my audience is in so i'm gonna go to the audience tab and show you how that looks like um, now as you can see the top geographies here are us which is around 30 percent india is around 14 percent and then I have Philippines, UK, Canada. And if I click through, I can also see that the majority of my audience is from places such as US, India, Philippines, um, and basically a lot of high income countries, which does tend to show or reflect rather in my um, revenue um, per month or in my ad revenue as well. Now, of course, one of the other things that also you, is interesting to watch is how much each video makes because different videos make a different amount of money. And so I can actually see here the top earning videos. So depending again on the title of the video and the topic of the video, how much every video makes might be completely different. Now, most people think that the more subscribers a YouTube channel has, the more money they make with YouTube ads, but that's not really always the case. What's even more important is how many views the channel is getting, where those views are coming from, and what niche is that channel's content content primarily in. This means that a small channel like mine with just 2,000 subscribers can actually make more money than a channel with 20,000 subscribers based on these three factors. Now making 10 or $20 a day isn't really that much for where I live, but the way I look at it is that it is an additional stream of income which is passive at this point. This means I've already put in the work that I needed to put in the last year in making all of these videos on my channel and they are going to continue to be monetized over time even if I'm not actively working on my channel. And with YouTube also being an additional source of revenue for me, I now have four different income streams, which I'm extremely grateful for, especially this year. So I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments how your YouTube journey is going so far. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos on how to grow your audience, income and impact online. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.